Tales of Tenario is coming out soon. And you might have noticed I've been recently making Tales of Tenario videos. Tales of Tenario is showing a lot of progress from the updates on Discord and from the good reception from the people that are interested in the game. Currently, the most popular monster catching game has to be Lumion Legacy. Over the lifespan of Lumion Legacy, it seems like the player base has been declining slowly and sometimes even sharply. When Lumion Legacy first came out, it was really popular because Lando, the creator of Pokemon Brick Bronze, actually worked on Lumion Legacy. Lumion Legacy's problem was that updates were not coming out quick to the player base. In return, the player base did not like the lack of major updates to Lumion Legacy. Most of Lumion Legacy's updates were just bug fixes and just very minor things that the player base did not even realize was a glitch or a bug in the game. Even though Lumion Legacy releases events on specific holidays, they were usually just the same events over and over again with no change or just very minor changes. The player base was infuriated because they wanted to see more big updates to come out faster in the future. If you check the official Lumion Legacy Twitter, the developers would give leaks here and there and that was just about it with no big major news. The creators promised to keep the game alive by giving us even more leaks, but they never really focused on making the game better. Lumion Legacy has items that you can use Robux to give yourself an advantage, which the fans of the game didn't really like that. Now, let's talk about a game called Tales of Tenario that I think will succeed compared to Lumion Legacy. I feel like Tales of Tenario will be the best monster catching game on Roblox and it might convert some Lumion Legacy players to come to Tales of Tenario instead. The developers have a discord for the game and they seem to be taking feedback from the community to make the game even better before it has even been released to the public. Tales of Tenario has a lot more features on release compared to Lumion Legacy's updates that don't even come close to how much content Tales of Tenario will have. Tales of Tenario will have no game passes that give a player an advantage compared to everyone else. They've said that the Tenarians will be visible in the environment without having to initiate back Battle with them. There are dungeons in Tales of Tenario that are multiplayer puzzles for new Tenarians. There is a lot more content that focuses on multiplayer, bringing players together and taking on the content that they promise will be at release. I'm sure that they will have frequent updates to make the game even better. The amount of potential in the game is just incredible, and I'm hoping that they deliver on the promise of adding even more features and Tenarians in the game at a decent rate. In my opinion, I think that the game will be really popular, especially people that are a big fan of Pokemon or other monster catching games. The amounts of hype and the Discord having over 50,000 people in it will shoot the game to be popular and possibly being on the front page of Roblox. I think that everyone should give this game a shot and check it out on release day because of how well made it is and I want to thank the team behind the game and their amazing hard work.